Ciao YouTube, no one Duke here. First things first, I, I like to apologize for these games uh, being having Italian written text. Unfortunately, it, it is tell itself in this way, and I could I managed to change the the audio, the voices in English. Unfortunately, I couldn't change the writings. I probably could do if I just reinstall the whole game, which is like. 15 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, something like that, and with my crappy connection, I'm not gonna do that, so I apologize for this. This is a Game Master game in Battlefield 3. Now, if you don't know Game Master, Gun Master, sorry, uh, it's basically uh, similar to Call of Duty's gun games, or Counter Strikes, or Day of Defeats, um, similar games. You start with a weapon and uh, scoring kills, you kind of level up and switch your weapon. It's a pretty interesting game mode, pretty casual. Uh, you basically don't need to do anything but uh, shoot people. And uh, the cool thing is that changing your weapon basically changes your strategy. Because you can do the same with pistols as you do with a shotgun or a, an assault rifle or anything like that. The pistol I'm currently using is the MP443 um, semi automatic pistol, if I'm not mistaken. Holds any rounds, it's a funny auto pistol. And uh, it's nice, I mean, it made me kind of revalue pistol gameplay, which I never really particularly like in like the other Battlefield 3 mode. One thing people tend to do with this pistol, as with other semi automatic pistols, uh, I tend to do it too, is basically uh, press the, the trigger or the mouse button as fast as they can to get off many shots. This is not necessarily a good thing, because it kind of screws up your accuracy and. Uh, basically it leaves you with an empty magazine, despite the fact you hold 18 rounds, it kinda empties really quickly. And nothing to do. So you should really, you know, take your time to aim, line up your shots, and shoot people down. Oh, here's a guy, uh, which kills me of course. And uh, one funny thing is this game, another funny thing is that you, you respawn very quickly. This pistol, yeah, I like it, I mean, in fact, if, uh, if there was like a pistol only game mode, <laughs> I think I would have much fun in it. And actually read that DICE is thinking about making uh, the gun games, uh, gun master, sorry, games, uh, gun list kind of customizable. So uh, server admins may choose the, the weapons that uh, players will be able to obtain. Now for this weapon I'm using, the 93R, I kinda like it, I like the appearance, I like the way it's a <coughs> burst fire pistol, holds 21 rounds. Again, what people usually do, what you can do if you're very close range with this pistol, you just press the trigger really fast and you basically have a sort of fully automatic weapon as you can see. Uh, however, this really screws your aim up, so unless you're very close to a guy, uh, don't do this. This is the 44 Magnum. Now, with the 44 Magnum, I have mixed, mixed feelings for this gun. Uh, looks very nice, it's powerful, but rate of fire is slow, it only has 6 shots, and reloading time is, uh, is very, very slow. Uh, it can be an effective short range weapon if you take your time, line up your shots really well, and. Uh, Unfortunately, you don't usually have time to line up your shots, especially if the, if the opponent has a semi-automatic, uh, sorry, is a fully automatic weapon. It's just too slow. I mean, look at the reloading time. It's really slow. It's a very, very nice animation, very realistic reloading animation. Like, all reloading animations in this game, but it's really too slow. And, and also, one thing I don't like about this gun is the sound it makes when it shoots. I was kind of expecting, uh, like in Bad Company 2, a nice sound, nice explosion, because it's a very powerful cartridge. But instead you have this, like, pew pew, which sounds like kind of muffled. That's probably realistic, don't get me wrong. Okay, this is the PP-19. The PP-19 is a gun I really love. I love its appearance, I love the way it works. It's reasonably accurate, especially with, especially with the suppressor round. And it's just really cool. Uh, of course, if you engage with any gun, you should check out the presence of other targets because otherwise you're gonna become a target on multiple, on multiple shooters. Anyway, I really like this gun. Uh, in uh, Game Master, it comes with silencer, 
and nothing else I guess. Well it's 55 rounds if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, reloading is kinda slow. But it works. It's again a really like doesn't deal much damage, it's short range, it's, it's also machine guns. But it's nice and I don't really know why I like this gun so much. This is the uh, the P90, comes with a reflex optic, and this is Vispa 12. Well, luckily we we went over the P90 really quickly because I don't really like the gun. Uh, I mean, it's a good gun, but uh, it's also one of the worst looking things with a red dot sight on. I mean, it's like horrible. But it's a good gun, or reloading is fast, uh, etc. etc. The Spa 12, which is this shotgun, it's basically a. a. Uh, I don't know how really to pronounce the average shotgun's name, so I'm just gonna say 870 and call it a day. Uh, you get a high rate of fires, fire, but only shoots 11 pellets, uh, unlike the other one, it shoots 12. So it does a slightly lower damage. Uh, basically, you have to be more accurate with your shotgun than with the other one. You can't really afford to miss with so many pellets. Uh, shotgun gameplay, I'll be honest, I don't really like shotgun gameplay, especially in this kind of game. Because you, most of the time you're facing people with uh, pistols or automatic weapons. And with shotgun, you really have to be much accurate. Because if you if you miss once or twice, like in this situation, you're dead. Because the other guy is just going to spray you with fully automatic fire. And, um, and you're gonna die, <laughs> period. I would... I, I'm not really... You know, I like shotguns, uh, despite the fact that they have short, they have short range, they don't fire so fast, and they have few rounds. But... Uh, uh, in this game, like, the shotgun phase is really, you know, <laughs> kind of a... Um, of a tournament for me. <laughs> now for this gun, the MK3, this is probably the gun that I like the least uh, in Gun Master particularly. It's basically a fully automatic shotgun. Uh, fully automatic, it's basically means that you're gonna, it's, it fires, it keeps firing with a trigger pulled, but the trigger fire is low and being fully automatic, like every shotgun that's not pump action, damage is reduced. And this basically means that the shotgun is kind of bad, at least in my opinion, because you have to hit people a considerable number of times before you kill them, and that's not a good thing. Okay, now we change weapon finally, and this weapon is the ACW. It's a very nice assault rifle, very accurate, even on full auto. Uh, it's only. The solid effect is that it deals kind of a low damage and it only holds 26 rounds in the magazine. By the way, this game is almost finished and uh, to show you our weapons I'm gonna jump uh, really fast to another game which I started immediately after this one. Notice how I managed to engage two targets and not kill any one of them. <laughs> but this assault rifle is pretty cool. Even with 26 or 27 rounds, sorry. Uh, it's really nice. Oh, this is another weapon, and of course, now the game is kind of finished. So, what I'm gonna do is basically um, do. Well, I went, I got third place, however. So, I'm gonna start with the um, another game. And as you can see, I started where I left. I started recording what I left last time. Last time, sorry. This gun is again the ACWR, and uh, well, I'm just gonna show you some extra gameplay with it because I didn't play too much in the other video segment, and it's a gun that I really like. Uh, again, it's accurate, and I really like accurate guns uh, in this game. Uh, of the recoil, specifically, is very low, very manageable, uh, which is cool if you have like spotty someone and you really want to take him down fast uh, and the right of sights really helps with this and uh, also the laser laser pointer or whatever it's called it's a kinda nice package 
pretty good combination. And uh, one cool thing about this game mode is that, again, as I told you previously, the more you advance the levels and the more you have to change your strategy because this, again, is an assault rifle and so it's useful in middle range engagements. It's not so strong at close range against, uh, uh, you know, submachine guns or even pistols. And so you have a really, you really have to look forward to places like the one you just saw, uh, in which you are actually allowed to engage uh, middle range. And that's kind of a challenge because gun master maps are really made most of the um, close environments and cr kind of cramped up environments like corridors, staircases. This parking lot is an example of a middle range engagement place. Middle to long, actually, but mostly middle. Uh, and if you fight in this kind of environment, you really have the advantage if you have an assault rifle or a carbine uh, or a sniper rifle on somebody who just has a pistol or a submachine gun. Unfortunately, this specific location, this specific map, and lots and lots of cover, uh, so it's uh, not so easy to use. Um, uh, I mean, not really so easy to fight in. This is a more cramped up place, the same staircase in which I died previously. And I just changed weapon. This weapon is the MTAR 21, and uh, it's um, basically a carbine. It's useful for very nice for short range uh, engagements. Not so much uh, for long range, but it holds this. Uh, it really holds a medium range. So it's a really good map in this. I'm uh, uh, sorry, it's a really good gun in this map. Uh, it comes with an holographic sight. I don't really know if it's the most effective kind of sight for a carbine. I would have really, you know, preferred a, um, a red dot. But anyway, we change weapon, and this weapon is the OG. It's an assault rifle. It's a pretty cool assault rifle, in fact. Very accurate. Uh, with the. Um, especially on full auto, the recoil isn't that bad. It's one of my favorite guns. Uh, if only the reload time... No, the reload time is actually decent. I, I remember it was uh, slower to reload. Oh, hi, guy. And uh, this gun is the uh, SKRL assault rifle. It's basically an assault rifle version of the SKR carbine with the, um, uh, the engineer gets. Uh, it doesn't deal as much damage, but it doesn't, it's got a longer range, it's more controllable. Personally, I would have preferred the higher damage, but anyway. It's a it's an okay gun. I mean, not among my favorites, but it's nice. This is the L set light machine gun, and it's one of my one of the weapon I hate most in Gun Master because, as you can see, especially with the scope it comes with, it's basically a long range weapon, and it's kind of awkward because it's a machine gun, a light machine gun, a machine gun anyway, with long range scope, and it's a four X scope, I think. And it's not really suitable for, you know, short distance combat. Like in this map, that scope particularly is very intrusive. It reduces your field vision. It's not a good scope for a... Um, it's not a good optic for a map, close quarter map like this. This weapon I'm currently using is the L86A2 light machine gun. This machine gun, I actually kind of like, at least more than the... Um, uh, the other machine gun. It's more controllable, uh, it's more mobile, it's nicer. Uh, even if, again, I don't really like, like machine gun, the machine gun in Gun Master. And especially for the recoil, which as you've seen is pretty, it's pretty high. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, in Gun Master, by the looks of it, this weapon counts you a foregrip. Now, foregrip on a machine gun it's not really the best thing. This is the semi-automatic M41-7 sniper rifle. Uh, unfortunately, the gameplay uh, footage... Uh, actually, this game is, is close to uh, the end, and I don't think I ever got to the uh, higher ranking weapons, which are two bolt action sniper rifles and a knife. And with a knife, you basically have to knife somebody to win the game. Which is a kind of a interesting thing because it changes the focus of the game at the last step. 
instead of getting a longer and longer range, so being forced to avoid close quarter battle, close quarter combat, and uh, fight a long range, you're actually forced to get very close to your opponent. And that's very interesting. It also makes the game kind of slower, the more far it goes, because uh, scoring kill gets harder and harder, and it's pretty hard to hit somebody with a knife. Even if you need just a single kill to win the game. Anyway, as you may have noticed, I suck with sniper rifles, and this is the reason I never play Varekin. But, uh, and I don't have an opinion really about the other two rifles because I never used them quite much. Uh, I think I came to the uh, second to last sniper rifle just once. And, uh, so, to sum this up, Game Master is an extremely fun game mode, um, especially if you want a casual game, a quick game, you just basically go around with guns and kill people, you don't have to bother about anything else. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, more Battlefield 3 videos will come in the future. Thank you for watching, and as usual, ciao ragazzi!